Welcome back. This morning, summer vacation for St. Louis Public School students. Fast approaching. And you know what? That mm -hmm. also means it's crunch time for high school graduates preparing to head off to college. Our Diamond Palmer is live for us this morning in Midtown with how district counselors are going above and beyond to help. Diamond, what they're doing? Well, Rennie and Sydney, today is the last day of school for Clyde C. Miller Academy and other St. Louis City schools. But Rennie, counselors say the work doesn't stop there. They'll continue to help students prepare for their future in college. And when that comes to the free application for federal student aid, also known as FAFSA. Collect your paperwork, paperwork meaning your 1040 tax returns, social security numbers, make sure they are accurate. Juma Fanoy is a college admissions and career specialist at Clyde C. Miller Academy for St. Louis Public School District. She is leading the future generation of college students. And her biggest advice for students completing a FAFSA application is this. Start early, do not be intimidated. This year, there's a new version of the application, which was supposed to be easier to fill out with fewer questions. But it was rolled out three months late due to several problems, including some families' tax data being transferred inaccurately from the IRS. Thankfully, people like Finoy are there to help students through the process, including Raquel Murphy. I love you so much. Like. I like, like my family never went to college, but she literally like helped me in everything. It, and my mom, she never had that. Murphy will attend Harris Stowe State University, a historical black college and university in the fall. A decision made with the help of family and following the footsteps of Finoy. Murphy has 15 college credits and $50,000 in scholarships so far. I'm just so grateful that I had her. Finoy says every student in the district deserves a seat at the table. Continue to ask those questions, continue to make sure that you talk to your support system and continue to not be intimidated by the application or any process. Murphy says she plans to study biomedical engineering at Harris Stowe and says this summer she'll continue to apply for scholarships. Now, if you are wondering what scholarships are still available in our area, you can head to our website, ksdk.com under the Tissel tab. Reporting live here in Midtown, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side.